Hello, everybody. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Hebat, 21X, or 2000X, legends say those who climb the mountain never return. Watch that first step, it's a Lulu. Welcome to Undertale. Undertale. It's been out for a while. I figured since I'm playing this in the month of Valentine's Day with the amount of hearts and love going around, we may as well give this a game a try. Now, this wasn't actually my first choice for my Let's Play this month. I was originally going to play Sam and Max Hit the Road. However... The SCUM VM system made it so recording with a dual monitor system was pretty much impossible. Oh, and uh, by the way, I don't remember if I did this. This is VDiffuser. Anywho. We're done with that. Let's get to, let's take care of this. Name the fallen human. Now, there are all a lot of uh, things you could name the human, and some of them the game just will not take. I would say what they are, but that would be light spoilers. Some people, believe it or not, have not seen this game. And, well, I want to keep them at least a little surprised. Now, I'm going to be playing a pacifist playthrough. That is right, no fighting. I know, that's rich coming from me, the, uh, <laughs> one of the Shin Megami Tensei lords, but, um, this game is interesting in the fact that your actions in this game have real life, have, uh, very profound consequences. Very profound consequences. I also know just how, <clears throat> <clears throat> invested the fandom is in this game. So this is going to be a big warning. I'm playing this game my way. Let me play this game my way, or there will be no playthrough. Got it? Good. I hear this fandom's about almost as worse as the freaking Sonic fandom. I want to uh, let this, I want to pretty much let this, what am I even saying now? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but you know what? Sometimes you just can't do that. Um, no, I'm not doing all caps. True name. That is one of the uh, things that that is one of the things that could uh, 
one of the uh, little wink nudge things of the names they have. Otherwise, it would usually say, do you really want this to be the name? All right, let's go. Here we are. Arrow keys to, to walk. Ah, I can also use this as well, but I do believe that that it doesn't really support the uh, um, any of the buttons on the uh, on a controller. And there's you. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me is gonna have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. The soul starts off weak, but it can go strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course! Ain't it wonderful we're playing this in February? You want some love, don't ya? Don't worry, I'll share some with ya. Right. Down here, love is shared through, um, uh, uh, little white. Friendliness pellets! Yeah! Totally friendliness pellets! Ah, come on! You think I'd lie to you? You ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! I'm really bad at this. Hey, buddy. You missed them. Okay, I did this one on purpose just because of that. You can actually do it again, and pretty much everything will play out the way it's supposed to. But let's try again, okay? Oh. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. Eh? <laughs> What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Jeez, why is that so blown out? Hang on, one moment. Alright, that's better. Sorry about this brief, uh, going back to my desktop. Ugh. What a poor, terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Alrighty, welcome to the ruins. Every world in the underground is based off of the seasons. Alright, here's a save. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Yeah, that word, determination, is going to be uh, dropped on us a lot in this game. HP fully restored. Excuse me. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and dorkies. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. It goes without saying, but Toriel is also a somewhat punny name. 
because she is our tutorial. Hardy, hardy, hard. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. That middle road. <laughs> As I mentioned, there are lots and lots of ways to play this game. There is the pacifist route, there are several neutral routes, and then of course there's the genocide route. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Very handholdy. Press Z to read signs. Stay on the path. Oops. This game also has a hell of a lot more dialogue than you'd ever think that they would have. And again, it's based off of your choices. A lot of this game derives um, inspiration from the Mother series. Very quirky. Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. Pay no attention to that mouse that was briefly there. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Oh, come on. That's not nice to call it a dummy. For all we know, he could just be struggling right now with his classes. Alright. The dummy. Check. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Huh. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Now you can either hit the dummy, or you can talk to the dummy. We're going to talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you, though. You won. Very good. You're very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Ragged attacks you. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this guy. Ain't that the truth? Hmm? Fine. You don't have to worry about monster fights in this room. Toriel will drive any monster away. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Very handholdy. Very handholdy. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. That's it. Uh, for a bit, I thought you were going to ask me to fight Nyarla Uh Forgive me for this. Well, now we're definitely sounding like one of the dungeons from the first Mother game. The 
room that stretches forever. Okay, we're done. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright. Yeah, we will wait here. You can wait forever, and, uh, eh. Uh, she's not coming back. Hello, this is Tor... <laughs> okay, at the time that that rang, my phone actually buzzed me. <laughs> You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. In case you hadn't figured it out, that whole seasons thing I was talking about earlier, this game, or rather this level, is set in the fall. Yeah, usually it begins with autumn, but nope. We're going straight to fall. It be fully restored. Okay, there's that. The leaf pile. Alrighty. Wimson. Consult. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah, why not? Press C to open the menu. You can take another one, but... Um... <laughs> it'll knock the bowl over. I think that's the yard waste. Alright, who have we got now? Froggett. Compliment. Froggett didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Ribbit. Froggett seems reluctant to fight you. We got zero experience and two gold. That's the thing. We get gold from enemies but you don't get experience for mercying them. And we will not be getting any experience because we will not be doing any fighting. Okay. Down we go. What have we got now? It's another frogget. This is Torio. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I'm more of a cinnamon guy. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Torio. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right. Right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Eh. It's another frogget. 
Persona 2 has trained me for this. Ribbit. Alrighty, there we go. Please don't step on the leaves. And we don't have much of a choice on the matter. And it's another rocket. Really getting that enemy variety in there. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? <laughs> All right. All right, Wimson. we have another fight. Line of Moldsmoles. Okay, now we're getting that enemy variety right there. You lie immobile with Moldsmole. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> okay, bullet. Ow. Bullet help line. Well, first hit of the game, and it's only been 20 minutes in. One gold. Okay. Now, whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? There's the fourth rock. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? Oh, you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? Oh, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. That's good. Hey. Dude. Hmm? Oh, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout, you know? I know a little bit about the workout. I'm doing a Lord of the Rings challenge. Alright, who we got now? A pair of frog gets hopped toward you. Yeah, here's the thing, you're gonna be getting more, um, more enemies as you go. Usually, you will be getting only about two or three enemies. Hop, hop. Ribbit. Ow, got me again. There, we got four gold. Squeak. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. Alrighty, here we are. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. I've got no real choice but to do so. Here comes Naps the Bloke. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. 
Oh jeez, you are crying. Here I thought I was the one with self-esteem issues. Naps to Blook is wishing they weren't here. You gave Naps to Blook a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. He looks just a bit better. You told Maps to book a little joke. <laughs> okay. That's doing pretty well. Cheering seems to have improved Naps to Blook's mood again. Maps to Blook wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. Man, if I can make a top hat like that. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Spider bake sale. Oh, all proceeds go to real spiders. Alrighty. Play 7G in the web. We want to do this. Trust me, it will make sense later. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Nice. I would have actually flipped out if that happened because <laughs> I'm scared of spiders in real life. Thank you, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, for making spiders much creepier than they usually are. Played Ocarina of Time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come and eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Alrighty. So, I'm actually going to cut it here, and I will get back to you guys in the next episode, because, believe it or not, the ruins isn't actually all that big. So I will see you guys next time.